Hello, hello everyone. Uh, this is my update five or six or whatever we're on. Uh, let's see, what, what's new, what's new? I got my car back, so that's cool. Um, I'm able to get around and stuff now. Uh, well, I could before. I had my unicycle, my EUC, and I thought, hey, you know it'd be cool if I sold my car and just used my EUC as a daily driver. But it turns out that that's not the most feasible thing, especially if you're trying to have fun in life, because I, I always make excuses. I'm like, I'm gonna go climbing today. And then I'm like, yeah, it's raining out. And then I got a unicycle there. So I, f I found myself doing things a little bit less because it was just slightly more inconvenient. So if you, if you even add like the smallest inconvenience, it just, <laughs> it just makes things more difficult and you're like meh and you're just more likely just to stay home. So now that I got my car, and the lot ever since I got it, like I've been doing stuff and climbing and having fun pretty much every day. So I think I, I'm probably going to be doing that every day. I just picked up jujitsu again um, after like four years. I took a, a long break. Well, I mean, I was going super, super hard before, but then COVID happened and they shut down the gym and that that's kind of when I stopped. So I'm really excited to get back into it. I'm hoping it I'm hoping I stick with it. We'll see, right? It's one of those things, but I bought a new mouth guard the other day, so I'm uh yeah, going to start up tomorrow for my first class back in a while. So, yeah, that'll be fun. Uh, pretty much jujitsu, climbing and running. I'm going to try to balance the three. And as for games right now, I'm just playing Final Fantasy 7. I really really enjoy it. It's really cool. The story is Fucking awesome. Incredible. I'm playing the 7, seven Remake, by the way, not the original. Uh, I'm not sure how the original is. Apparently, they changed a few things, like added some characters, but like the gist of the story is about the same. And the combat is... The combat's kind of clunky, especially, you know, coming from Lies of P. Uh, it's, it's a little, it, it makes you feel definitely like a badass, especially when you're switching between characters constantly each character gets like a meter. So when you use your normal attack, it builds up the meter. And when you get to a certain point in the meter, you can use your special attacks. So pretty much like you get three three or four whatever characters on the field at once. And you switch between them constantly because you're basically like, keep attacking, 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 get that meter, use your special. Once you're using your special, you can use that time while they're doing the animation to switch to another guy and then do another special, like, and then or build up to another special and then switch to another. So you're just constantly all over the place in the battlefield switching. And the characters are so cool. I love how they, they all play so differently and they all have very like unique personalities and they're, they're I love the characters in Final Fantasy. This is kind of, I think it's my first legit, I mean, if you don't count tactics, because I've I played Final Fantasy tactics a long time ago, back in the day, and I finished that. But this is my first, like, main series Final Fantasy game. And I have to say it's really good. Um, I, I mean, I'm obviously starting with what people say is the best one, Final Fantasy VII. So I don't know if I'm going to play anything else in the series, really, but... Uh, yeah, this this one as a standalone story is so cool. I love how it's it reminds me of Elysium if you've ever seen that movie or if you've seen um, Elite Battle Angel because they got like this floating city uh, and everyone like, like all the rich people are living in the floating city. They have all the resources, all the control and power and they're using they're basically sucking resources called Mako into this into these reactors that are keeping this city powered and there's there's way more people that are living underneath the big floating city and these are like the peasants and these are the people that are getting kind of fucked over by all the rich people so uh this the story is interesting in that way you're, you're pretty much playing as like a group of terrorists <laughs> i think they're called avalanche i forget i forget like the name of the group but yeah they're they're basically just going from reactor to reactor blowing them all up and i'm guessing once all the reactors are gone the city is going to fall from the sky. And my thoughts are like, if they succeed in this, they're not only going to kill all the, like the people that are successful and living in that thing, but I feel like they're just going to pancake the city underneath them. So <laughs> I don't know if that's, you know, makes cloud and all the other people seem like 
They don't really seem like good guys. They just seem like they're trying to save the rest of the planet. So they're willing to do evil for the greater good. And I, I love how like the characters play around that. Like, like Tifa obviously is, she's pretty not okay with what she's doing, but she's doing it anyway, because she knows it's probably the better thing to do. But yeah, but probably one of the better, the best stories I've played through so far in a long, in a long time. Usually with games, I don't give a fuck about the story. So coming from me, yeah, I think, I think uh, it's a it's a good story. But the combat, <laughs> the combat's not the greatest. But it's okay. It's it's serviceable. It's fine. But pretty much that's I think that's that's it. I guess uh, next week. I'll update you on how jujitsu went. Uh, but yeah. Cool. All right. Hopefully the weather gets better. It's kind of gnarly out, man. I'm not, not too stoked on that. Yeah. Felicia went from, she's on her vacation right now. So she'll be back in about a month. And as soon as she leaves, you know, it was so nice out, and then as soon as she left, it started, the weather started shitting the bed here, so, yeah. All right. Anyway, I guess that's my update. I hope everyone's doing well. Um, have a good rest of your week, and I'll see you soon. Um, I'm guessing if the, I, I really do want to do that group ride that we are talking about, but the weather's just been not super cooperative, and I don't think it's going to be that nice out next week either, so we'll probably just end up playing by ear. But anyway... Have fun. See ya.